Hello again. Snow, snow, quick, quick snow. It's winter, but we are seeing snow in places that we have not had it for years, and sometimes in larger amounts than ever before. So what does this mean for global warming? The answer is not much. This is global warming. He's my jackass. And he rather likes the snow. I call him GW for short. I can't think why. I named him Global Warming in honour of all those idiots who make movies of snowfalls and post them on YouTube. They then claim that the snow proves that global warming is bunk. They call their videos things like, where is the global warming I was promised? Global warming? What global warming? And global warming is over. Then for good measure, they make some jab at poor old Al Gore and show some silly picture like this. All it actually proves is that it is cold in winter. To demonstrate that point, let's see if the argument works in reverse. Here's a picture of my front yard taken on the 10th of February 2010, and another one taken exactly a year later. Anyone notice the difference? Here, I'll show them to you again. 10th of February 2010, now the 10th of February 2011. Wow, look how much less snow there is. That must prove global warming is real. We have nearly three feet less snow than we had at the same time last year. Furthermore, in the DC metro area, we've had only about six inches of snow so far this winter. We usually get 15 to 20 inches. So we can, by the same criterion, safely say that global warming is back, and with a vengeance. Someone call Al Gore and apologize. It turns out that he was right all along. So global warming is real. I just proved it by the same argument that those idiots deny global warming. This argument is just so much BS. All they're doing is confusing weather with climate, either deliberately for political reasons or out of ignorance. How soon we forget the headlines from March through July of 2010. Record-breaking heat globally for five months in a row, making 2010 the warmest year on record, tied with 2005. The truth is that the Northeast got the snow that we got the previous year, as it should. It's a snowy winter area. But even so, snow is not a measure of temperature, but a measure of precipitation when the temperature happens to be below freezing point. Let's take a look at the facts about temperature for the same area. You can do the same thing wherever you live, and probably see much the same trends. The Weather Channel publishes the daily high and low temperatures for every zip code in the United States. Just enter your zip code and click on Monthly to get the recent observed temperatures. Then click on Averages to get the average high and low temperatures and the record high and record low temperatures to see if it was unusually warm or cold. Now compare the observed values with the records. So let's look at the results from my area. Here are the average daily highs and lows for the last six weeks, which are generally the coolest times of the year. First we'll compare these with the observed high temperatures. Looks like it was a cold winter, which I think we all knew already. Now let's add in the daily low temperature. Brr, it was cold last month. First, did we set any high temperature records? Here are the high temperature records for the same dates for our area. Apparently we did not set any high temperature records, not even close. We were told, particularly on one of our local Fox stations, that this was a record cold winter. Well, let's see. Here is the low temperature records for the same dates. Although we had temperatures 5 or 6 degrees below normal, we did not even come close to setting any low temperature records. The lowest temperature ever recorded here is the minus 11 degrees Fahrenheit on the 27th of January 1987, which means that to ensure we never had any more snow in the DC metro area, we'd have to have 44 degrees Fahrenheit of global warming. So far we've had between 1 and 2 degrees Fahrenheit of global warming. Thus we conclude that global warming, my ass will be very happy before he will be seeing snow for the rest of his life. So the next time you see one of those silly videos of pretty snow scenes purporting to disprove global warming, you know that they are completely deluded or they are trying to hoodwink you. The politicians and scientists who should know better, who say such things, are counting on most people having such short memories that they can't remember the record high temperatures of last summer when there is a few inches of snow on the ground. Ignore them. So, according to global warming, my ass, that's the end. Newsflash, while we froze our butts off here in the US, globally, 
January 2011 was the fourth warmest on record, and that with the strongest La Nina in many years. If you want to find out how global warming savvy you are, try one of the two quizzes that I have made. The links to them and the answers are in the description box below. Keep safe. Bye for now.